Hi and welcome to my fourth tutorial on uh, HTML and this time we are going to start off by uh, making lists. Now there are three basic types of lists that you can create with HTML. You have the unordered lists which are bulleted and you have ordered lists which are numbered and you have definition lists which lets you create a definition or term and then the description of this. Let's uh, start by making an uh, unordered list and we could just as well make a shopping list but right now I'm going to make uh, a heading here for the programs I need for one of my tutorials. We'll make an H2 heading like that. And um, unordered lists uses a uh, UL tag which also requires an M tag like this UL unordered list. And uh, then we have a uh, LI tag which indicates the list entries like this. Now this tag comes before each entry and the ending tag is optional and as far as I know XHTML and also uh, HTML5 does not require an end tag either. Then a new entry And our last entry here now. Like this. Now we have to end our unordered list here, which we do with the end tag. Like this. Now we have our unordered list. We'll save it. And F5 to update the browser. And this is our unordered list. Now here you can see our bullets. And the browser, the term is the character used for a bullet, but the default, I believe, is a disk in most browsers. We can change this. Instead of using a disk, we can also use a square and a circle. Now we haven't used any attributes in our earlier tutorials, but we will do that now. And attributes provide additional information to our elements or tags. And this is where we put in what type of bullet we want. So let's go back to our uh, notepad. And here we have the UL, unordered list. So. type equals quotation marks and we'll say square and don't forget the quotation marks again file save and when we now look at our unordered list and the bullets here these ones are disks uh, the disks are uh, filled circles and we're also gonna see the regular circles which is a uh, outline of a circle. We update the browser and we now have square bullets. If we go back here now and say uh, disk we have the disks as bullets 
which is the default. And we have one more type here. Circle. F5. And we have the, the circle attribute here. There's one more thing we need to look at. Now, we have defined our type here, type circle, in the unordered list. So let's go back to a square. And what happens now is that when we have placed square here, that square will come on all our list entries which we have already seen but we'll look at it once more and if we want to change this now the unordered list gives us a square on all our list entries but we can also make a bullet for an individual list entry so in my case backtrack is the main program and I will leave a square there but hashcalc and image burn are programs needed for my tutorial in a way so here on list sorry on li for list entry I will have type equals quotation marks disk like this file save F5 and you see backtrack stayed with a square because that's what started our unordered list with uh, with that type and hash calc we decided to use a disk and we can also do the same thing with the uh, Camtasia Studio and make a circle like that file save F5 and we get a circle here so even though we have the ability to use um, an attribute only on the UL tag for all of them we can still use individual attributes on the LI tag to make a difference on our list so as you can see this is quite easy type equals quotation marks disk quotation marks and you're all set now in our next tutorial we will go through ordered lists which are numbered lists and how we can change the attribute on the number. Until next time.